What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of The Escapist. My name is Splattercat, I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and do our library job. Let's jump up in here, we got four Walt, Jaden, Carter, Chung. Sounds good to me. This would be one of those jobs that a high speed rating would probably be good for us so that you could haul around hella fast and get it done quickly. Let's go around the edges, we got Chung over on this side, we got Chung, Rodney, we got anything for Carter? We do. So there's one for Carter. We got Chung over here. Alright, Jaden and Walt. I think Walt is in here. So there's Jaden right there. Jaden reading a lot of books. Jaden's getting it done with regards to his literary education. And then Walt, get that one in there. And then we'll go down south. I think we need three more books to get this done properly. Should be nice and easy peasy. But yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to Stalog Fluked. It's a pretty cool place to hang out. Take a few more books just in case. Craig, Rodney, Rodney, and Walt. Okay, we'll start from this side this time and it should be good. Lots of this is in here, but yeah, I've wanted to play this game for a while. It's one of those games that you can play a lot of and just like not get bored of it. It's a weird game like that, I don't know. And we need a Rodney next. He got two books, so Rodney, that's Ronald. And so Rodney's going to be over here. And then we go with the hotkeys. Hey. Oh, that's Craig's book. Never mind. There we go, and the job is done. So I'll ditch Craig's book on the floor because Craig's an asshole. Now that we got the key mold, ah, this is gonna have to be kind of a precision run, isn't it? We're gonna have to be very, very careful about this one because we don't really have a whole lot of places that we can store our contraband. That's the most worrying part about this, I think. Yeah, I just don't know. Like, digging's not really an option, because my cellmate is a giant snitch. I... You know what, let's combine these real fast. Can I even do that right now? Okay, so my intellect is too low at the moment. So let's take as much of our contraband as we can. We'll throw that in there. Let's use this as a little bit of study time, I guess. Go back to the library. Do the best that we can. Although we're about to run out of time, so we may only get like one or two pumps in right here. I pump books, I don't know. Is that normal? Is that a weird thing? Shower block. Try and get my intelligence up so that I can make the shears before too long. I'm going to try and make some really good shears, and I think we're just going to go out the red door, and then we're going to cut our way out. That's pretty much going to be it. I've already got a shower. I'm sorry, I already got a cell key and everything else, so it should be good. I'm going to fatigue myself out right now because I see no reason not to do it. We're going to catch a little bit of heat for doing this. But honestly, the punishments for sitting around and doing whatever the hell you want in this game are not that severe. So I don't tend to worry about them very much. Alright. Looking nice and good right there. If I could just get this a little bit higher. Alright, evening roll call. We have to be there for this one just in case we get shook down. Infirmary staff. I was going to say, who is that guy? He's got a white outfit. He's got to be an officer around here if we're going by Wolfenstein rules. Chop, chop! Cell shakedowns. Craig and Scud Nuts. You don't have a bitch. Alright, so since it's me, let's get up in here, grab all of our contraband that we can hold, except that we can't hold that much. And so we may need to flush something. Flush that real fast. That'll give us a little bit of room for the guard. Actually, what I need to do is we need to combine those. And so it's a really, really good thing that I went and did that in the library because that's the only reason that I'm able to hold everything that's... Okay, so we should be good now. Ronald wants me to do the next breakfast thing. I think that quest probably expires once it's next breakfast. Morning roll call. God, everybody fighting with each other right now. Just being generally unpleasant. Got a bunch of timber right here, but since we're not going to be digging anything, the uses for the timber are going to be a little bit more limited. We can use them for some stuff. We can make, like, wooden bats and stuff like that now, which would be pretty badass. We can also make nunchucks, which are really, really good. But I don't think we need a much better weapon. I mean, we're pretty strong. We can take people with our hands. It's not really that big of a struggle for us to knock people the hell out, so I'm not going to worry about it. Look at me when I'm shouting at you. That's my mom's rule right there. Look at me when I'm shouting at you. <laughs> That's, like, the definition of my childhood. Me zoning out while getting screamed at. God, our butt cheeks are so protruding that it shows through the back of our outfit. How crazy is that? I've got to get this putty turned into something else, and I think I do that by melting forks or something. I think you take the putty, a lighter, and a fork, and it'll let you make like a yellow card or something like that. There we go. It's weird that he can snitch on me while he's sleeping. I still kind of want to risk digging the hole because... Hey, you shut the hell up. 
This guy is such a ridiculous snitch. Hadouken! And if you're gonna snitch, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you every time you snitch, man. Seriously, you're in for a lot of whoopings right now if you don't stop. Some shaving cream right there. And then the other thing, hey, 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 I'm gonna take your knife roof. Do I have a lighter in here anywhere? I do not, and that is heavy. So, rather than lighter, the situation has become heavier because I don't have the things that I need in order to do my job. So let's just continue to the next day, shall we? Snitches. Snitches. That's how I feel about that, Craig. That's how I feel about that. Hello. I like how we just have pleasant conversation. That's all it takes for us to get along. I can steal a lighter pretty easily, I think, so I'll focus on that. Lighters are important in prison. They're actually one of the fundamental things. You can't have a lighter in a lot of prisons. Celtos. Walton Scudnuts. Damn it, son. They are, like, on me. I wonder if it's due to the fact that I have high heat right now. Is that everything? We got the putty right there. Go through real fast to make sure I don't see any red. All right. Our heat is really high. So I'm going to say that today we should probably just go along with the schedule, like do the things that they tell us to do. Never forget that you are the dross of society. The andross of society? Because that means that I'm actually an antagonist of repute. Just saying. I'll wipe that smirk off your faces. You're going to need a big-ass napkin, my friend. A big-ass napkin. Let's just go to breakfast. There should be no scanner right here, so we should be all right. Go right there, sit on down, have ourselves a lovely little meal. Ah, oh, the kitten is snoodling in my lap right now. That's adorbs. I appreciate that. Got breakfast right here. Reminds me of dog food. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. I've never had dog food. I've had cat food before because my dad thought it would be funny as hell when I was a kid to give me cat food. It was the wet cat food, and I was like, it doesn't look that bad. I was like six years old, and he's like, here, and he gave me the cat food. And I think that was probably the hardest I've ever seen him laugh. He thought that shit was hilarious that I ate cat food. See, if you can't have fun being a parent, what, you, what can you have fun as? Let's see here. Teach someone a lesson during the next... God, everybody's doing the same quest around here. All a bunch of haters. I can't really do my library job until I get rid of this contraband, and I think we've already been shook, so we should be all right now. going to treat us like an ugly baby and shake us. Go back up in here. There we go. A few more guard jobs. To whoop up on some guards would probably be smart. Make sure that... I don't think the guards actually have a reputation towards you either, so... As long as we whoop them and leave them, we should be all right. Officer Mike, we could use a couple more keys. We need the red key and the green key to have a full set. Just to get ourselves all nice and kitted out. Doom style. Rodney, Carter, James, Craig, James. We have two for James. I told Rodney's in here for Robin. Yo, mama. My mama does have a lot of random stuff, though, that she carries around with her. I told her not to do that. We got Carter. So there it is right there. Give him a book. Do we have anything for Rodney? Oh, we have one for Rodney, too. All right. That was a waste of time. We got James and Craig. All right, James's desk. We're all good right there. Craig's got a book, too. Well, damn. This is the most confusing job ever. Oh, that's Chung. Never mind. I have bad eyesight. Ugh, I had two for James? Damn it. That apostrophe threw me off. All right, so we got that in there. Craig and... Wasn't Chung, like, around here somewhere? Or did they move him around? There it is. Wait, we don't have Chung. We have Walt and we have Craig. Oh my god, reading is so difficult today. Alright, we'll go in there. And then we got one for Walt, who I think is over here. This might be a close one. This might be a close one. Our speed is not suitable for the job that we're trying to do right now. We got like 30 minutes to get this done. We'll probably make it. Who's this for? Craig? Alright, so he's our cellmate. So let's get up in here. I went the wrong direction. Shouldn't have done that. Tried to cut a corner to get around faster, and it failed me. It failed me miserably. Walt Clark. Yeah, I think Craig's my roommate. I know that because I punch him in the face repeatedly. And I have a good memory for people that I've brutalized. So my job is now done. We might be able Officer Mike, although we would need more putty. How, many, how much putty do I have right now? So we got toilet paper. We got another thing of talcum powder. I need somebody. Actually, I have toothpaste right here. Oh, that's super glue. Is it toothpaste or talcum? Hmm. Hold on. Okay, so it's got to be toothpaste then. Exercise period's kind of important, so I need to do that right now. There's the toothpaste that I needed. Okay, so now we'll take this, we'll put that in there, make ourselves another wad of putty, because we need to jump another guard. And once we get a full set of keys, we should be just about ready to get the hell out of here. 
do some push-ups because our strength has been lacking lately. We do have a lot of HP. Wow, big ass fight right there. Damn. Ass fights, it's basically the same thing as an elephant fight, just with your ass. I don't know if you've ever seen an elephant fight before, but it's where you cross your arms with your hands sticking out, and you're like, brrr. There was also elephant sex. We used to do that in high school. It's where you knee somebody in the tailbone hella hard. Fun fact, my tailbone is broken, and that game was no fun. Me and my friends played some horrible games in high school. Like, I do not recommend any of these. They are probably liable to get you expelled nowadays, now that everybody's all soft and sensitive. But anyways, we used to play really, really nasty games. I think I've talked about these before, but elephant sex was when... <laughs> so elephant sex, if you weren't paying attention, somebody would walk up behind you, and they'd knee you in the tailbone as hard as they could. And that one was only fun if you were distributing. Actually, all of these games were only fun when you were distributing. There was the backpack game, where if you left your backpack unattended, we were allowed to dump it. And so, obviously, we only did this to people that were part of the game. We didn't do this to random people. It was only people that were, like, in our little in-group. There was, like, ten or fifteen of us. And so, if you left your backpack unattended, that was probably the worst game. That was just, like, ugh, it led to so much lost homework. And so, <laughs> whoever can get into this green room, I would like to beat you up. Yep, there it is right there. Officer Sang got that green key. Alright, so anyways, there was that game. We got the green key. This is going to be the work key mold. Okay, cool. If your work area has mold, you should probably get it bleached. The backpack dumping was probably the worst. There was Ninja. We played Ninja for a while, which is where if you weren't paying attention, somebody would come and jump kick you in the back. Like, full on, like, drop kick you. Like, I'm not even shitting you right now. Like, I took kicks that I'm surprised I don't have permanent spinal damage from. And I gave some out. Like, I'll give you one time. There's this kid. He was one of my friends. One of my best friends, in fact. But he would always get me all the time. Like, every time I stopped paying attention, he would jump kick me. And I was just dead set that I was going to nail this kid one time. Like, we were good friends. Like, it was all in good taste, I guess. Sort of. But anyways, I wasn't mad at him, but it was just like, I had to get revenge because he nailed me so many times. And so one time he was sitting there waiting for his mom to come pick him up after school on the sidewalk, and he was next to like a pole, like a light pole. <laughs> and he wasn't paying attention, and I ran down out of the bushes and I jump kicked him. And when I jump kicked him, <laughs> he bounced off the pole and rolled into the street. And he was just like, ah! Oh. Needless to say, he never jump kicked me again. The game ended shortly thereafter. Apparently I was too good at it. <laughs> But, like, people, when I tell that story, they're like, you're kind of an asshole. I was like, he got me, like, 30 times before that. Like, equally as bad. Equally as bad. It's part of the game. Don't play the game if you're going to complain when you get got. So when you start getting some lighters, I need to start raiding some desks and getting some lighters right now instead of telling stories. What other ones did we have? We made zip guns one time, which was interesting. The zip guns. <laughs> so we made zip guns out of rubber bands, paper mache, and something else. Like, we spent our time- I don't see any lighters around. We made zip guns that would fire these little paper projectiles that we made. Art class was kind of boring, and so we did other things. We made these zip guns, and actually, that they made a rule at our school that if you got caught- Because pretty soon, everybody had one. And we would get into zip gun fights in the middle of, like, the bathrooms and stuff like that. And they would leave a big purple welt on you. Because they would fire these little paper projectiles that we had made. Like, you would take a piece of paper, and you would roll it all the way down, if I remember correctly. You would roll it until it was really, really tight. And then from the- no, you didn't roll it. What was it? You took a piece of paper, you tore it into quarters, and then you took one of the corners, you rolled it super tight, you then roll- you rolled it over sideways then twice, so that it was kind of shaped like a V of paper. And once it was a V of paper, you had these little rubber band devices we had made, where the V would attach to the rubber band gun, and you could pull it back super far. And for whatever reason, these things held their momentum. Oh my god, they held their momentum across an entire room. Like, you could get hit from 15, 20 feet away, and it would still give you a big green purple welt. And so they actually, it was an expulsion. You could get expelled if you had one of those, if you got caught with one of them after the teachers figured out where all the welts were coming from on kids. But the zip gun fights were kind of fun. I don't know, I had a good time. Nobody complained about that one because everybody had one of them. So it was just like, eh. I don't know, I had too much fun in school. Maybe that was just me. There's a reason I got kicked out like 150 times. <laughs> got a couple books for Craig, we got a couple books for Carter. So finding Carter and Craig is gonna be, that sounds like one of those folksy bands. Carter and Craig's new album, available now at the front desk of Starbucks. There's Carter's desk right there. We got those two, Craig is gonna be up in our room. So we'll go three and four right there, and then we got one for James, which is over on this side. Get it prepped up before we're in the room. See, I'm getting quick at this. I'm getting quick at this. I think I can handle it now. I am built to be a librarian. So down we go to spend some time with some books. Yeah, we had all kinds of weird games we came up with in high school. Games that were basically pretty abusive to each other. Our little friend group was definitely pretty bruised, scarred, and battered most of the time. 
and little scabs and black eyes and all kinds of stuff from stuff going wrong. Carter's books right here, and I think Carter was over on this side. Yep, there he is right there. Carter's book, Clark's book, which I think was up. Chung, James, Clark's got to be over here then. And so there's Clark's. Oh, and we're done. Forget these books then. You know where these books go? On the floor, because I don't care anymore. Job accomplished. I'm out. And so for right now, we need to do a couple of push-ups until we get back up to 50 strength. It'll only take a second. And then we'll jog on the mat for a minute while we wait. What Matt did to deserve that job, I don't know, but we all jog on top of him for some reason. It's what he gets. Nobody likes him anyways. Yeah, it's what he gets. Too many kids named Matt nowadays anyways. Everybody in my peer group was named Matt. Seriously, I think there was eight Matts in my graduating class. There were a lot of Matthews, and I went to kind of a small school, so there were a lot of us. Like, seriously, everybody was named Matthew from, like, 1987 to 1989. Shower block. Oh, we're in the right place at the right time for once. Hooray. Getting some extra speed, too. Yeah! Got speed like Heisenberg. We're up in here now. And we can use this file. The reason that I bought it... Wow, we have so much money right now. Let me... What kind of contraband we got going on? You got some duct tape? I'll take it. And I think if I have more duct tape and another file, I can make my other shears better. We're almost there, actually. Like, contrary to what people might think right now, we're basically almost out of this prison. Once we get a guard uniform, a red key, and some other stuff, we're pretty much Audi. Should be very, very quick. Call the cops. We're in prison, man. The reason we're in prison is because somebody already called the cops. You can't call the cops in prison. We might be able to wait this one out and get some free loot right here, too, once the guards leave. Walt's got some nails and a book. Evening roll call is up, though, and I'm always nervous about roll call. Was I supposed to be collecting something for someone? Like, do I need sleeping pills or anything? I don't know. It's contraband. Let us keep it where it's at. Roll call! Our heat is really, really low right now, so we should be good. Stand to attention. What you mean, stand at attention? To, at, whatever. Cell search! Jaden and Ronald, so we're good right now. We are covered. I'm actually pretty... I'm stoked about the fact that we're not getting raided for like the 100th day in a row. No. I'm just gonna recycle these, because these quests suck. Turn all those down. Everybody's mad at me. That's just because Craig's a dick and he snitches all the time. And snitches do get stitches. They get left up in ditches, too. Let's see here. Whispers of a breakout. Well, that's odd because I haven't told anybody, so somebody else must be breaking out. And that would be kind of funny, though, if other people could break out, too. So we got some flimsy cutters. We at least want these to be a little bit better. And so by going like that, I need 11 more intellect. Damn it! These arbitrary intellect things. I'm actually going to flush this then. I don't even need the sleeping pills and they're taking up space right now. I didn't find a lighter today, which is really disappointing too. I'll probably take the hoe out. We've got the wire. I could probably get more of that. Don't really need the med kit or the plunger, I don't think. Plunger might be useful if I get desperate, but... Get rid of the soap too. Just like ditch all this stuff on the floor because... I have way too much space being eaten up by, like, random things. And so I need to make sure that we can get this all into our inventory when the time calls for it. I'm just going to sleep till tomorrow. There's nothing really to accomplish right now. Since we can't dig inside of our cell, just not going to mess with it. Alright, so we got morning roll call. I'll probably go down there after I search my cellies. Got a pack of mints. We got some bleach right there. Bleaching is for making new suits, so you take an inmate outfit, you bleach it, and then you use ink on it, and you can make a guard's outfit. Pretty cool little thing. Let's wait and see who's getting searched. Get in line, morons. Morons who have won a cell search. I get the feeling that you really, really, really like that insult. Carter and Clark. Good. As long as it's not me, I don't care. Back this way, speed's looking pretty good, but what I'd really, really, really like to have right now is a little bit more intellect so that I can make those cutters better. I think they may have raised the intellect cap on them. I don't know. Let's go. As much intellect as I can get. We're probably going to get a bunch of heat for not being at morning roll call, but whatever. We'll make it work for right now. Our breakout will probably be two or three days from now. There's still a few more things I need to isolate, so I need to find who goes through the red door. That one's pretty important. Once I find who goes through the red door, I think we'll be in much better shape. Come on, bookshelf. That'll do it for right now. We're doing Operation Einstein right now. We're trying to get a lot smarter before we actually go through with the plan. Up to the top. In we go. Sit on down. You don't actually have to have a meal right now to rest. That's kind of crazy. I think it makes you rest more, though. We got 164 going right now. I do wish that there was a kitchen job, because that's actually a major avenue of employment in prison. I was going to talk about something in prison, like a previous episode, and I never finished the story. If you want to remind me, go ahead. I mean, lighters. It was lighters. That's what it was. We need a lighter. 
So anyways, lighters in prison are generally not allowed because people use them for all types of horrible things. I like to take these. I just do. I don't know. Some people will say that they're useless because you can craft everything you want to craft anyways without there is the lighter. That's what I needed. And to save myself time, I'm just going to grab it from here. We'll get some cutlery. I don't know if I have to do these right here. Maybe you need two of them. Is it about the order? It's not the order. I know we can melt these down. I just got to figure out how to do it. You can make molten plastic. I remember exactly how to do it, but it's around here somewhere. Molten plastic, it's a comb, toothbrush, and lighter. Oh, that's weird that you can't do that with plastic forks then. All right. Not a big deal. Got our library job right now. We got our fight out in the yard right now taking place. Fights are actually pretty rare on the yard because there's like all these weird little alliances and things going on at the majority of prisons where like a fight is a big deal because it can kick a lot of shit off. It also depends what kind of prison you're at. If you're at a prison with a bunch of lifers who are never getting out, there's going to be a ton of fights. Whereas if you're at a prison where people are getting like 4 to 10 and stuff like that and they get years tacked on for doing bad shit, chances are they're probably going to do a lot less fighting. We got James over here. Craig's in my room. Just work our way up. We got Chung's book. Chung was over here somewhere. There he is. We've got two for Walt, and Walt was over on this side, on that one right there. Yep. All right. Get those going, and then we're back. I'm trying to finish early right now so that we have a bunch of time to work out and get our brains all nice and strengthened. <laughs> a few more book learnings right there. Hell yeah. I like to ditch the rest on the floor. If you're wondering why I'm taking so much, it also optimizes your chance that you're going to get a double the more that you take, so you can save a whole bunch of time. James is up here. One of the few desks that I remember. And there's the other book. We'll ditch the rest on the floor, because I don't give a damn once my job is done. I am out. It is 5 o'clock here. It is 5 o'clock here. Let's work on our intellect a little bit more so that we can get rid of some of the contraband by combining it and making it into better stuff. And then after that, during the free period today, I'm going to try and make it such that we can lock down a whole bunch of combs and toothbrushes so that we can make that molten plastic, make ourselves a couple of keys, which will get rid of the putty. It'll get rid of all of our random, you know, the evidence of our misdeeds, I guess, or Mr. Deeds, since I think we have the other hardware. I think. I don't know. I checked a few days ago. It's subject to change at any moment when you're in prison, but eh, I think it's still down there. When I don't use it, I don't pay attention to it that much. Go on this side. Come on. Library job. Read. Read like the wind. If the wind could read. I don't think the wind can, though. It's exercise period. Intellect looking solid. We're at 69 giggity intellect. Okay. So up to the top. And then while we're here, I'll probably use the remainder of my time to get my body strength back up. Because I think I've been lazy lately. And so I want to get my HP all nice and rounded out. I don't know if we'll have enough energy. There it is. We're good. Too fatigued right now. This would be one of those good-ass times. Walt's pockets. He's got a chocolate bar and some other stuff. Mike saw fit to relieve me of a pack of mints. Can you get it back? Yeah, I'll help you. I want Clark's job, damn it. Clark. Sleeping pills. Carter, can you get it back? Okay. Does that mean I have to jump him? A pack of mints from Carter. I like if it says from the individual, it means you gotta beat him up. That's cool. Hopefully, is Officer Mike one that I fought with? Hopefully, he's one of the guys that has a key that I don't have yet. That would be the best way that this could play out. What have you got? Talcum powder? I'll actually take it because I've got extra money. I could probably do the same thing by searching people's desks, but meh. And so, during free period, I'm gonna break the episode off. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here today at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of The Escapist. I'll see y'all next time. Hi to everybody.